Hello guys, Zander here and welcome back to a new video in which we are going to talk about my experience with Airtel Extreme Fiber and I have the 1GBPS plan. In this video, we'll talk about literally everything, installation process, download speed, upload speed, speed test data, we'll try 20, 30 devices at a single time and playing 1080p videos on all of them at the same time. We will also talk about the 40 Mbps plan, which is the most affordable plan at the end of this video. So without wasting any time, let's get started with the installation experience. So once my building was live, the installation, like complete installation installation took less than one hour it included routing the cable the router uh, installing the router setting it up and everything less than one hour and my one gbps connection was active in my entire lifetime i have never used internet of more than 100 mbps because my local isp does not support more than 100 mbps as uh, isp has that old infrastructure now this is extreme fiber as the name suggests it is a fiber connection and that's why 1 gbps is possible even if you install the 40 mbps connection same fiber line will be installed to your house because of which you will be able to upgrade to 1 gbps plan in the future as i took the 1 gbps plan i got this router with so many antennas it definitely looks fancy and whenever someone came to my house they were like oh which router is this which internet plan and all that stuff when i tell them i have 1gbps plan everyone is like let me download this let me download that when i got my 1gbps plan i was like let me install all the games that i have on the steam and i uh, tried doing that without wasting any time let's talk about the speed test and how much speed that we get so we have our dual monitor set up here and we also have the laptop set up and ready to go for a speed test so right now as i said i have the one gbps plan let's see what are the speeds that we are going to get so 800 900 920 930 mbps of speed which is crazy fast i mean 940 mbps is something where uh, you can download anything instantly we'll obviously download some files and when it comes to upload speeds once again that this is something uh 940 mbps speed download and upload if you think that this was just a fluke let me tell you i have been using this connection for almost two months now and this has been a constant experience let me just press go once again and we'll test this once again i'll fast forward this part because otherwise it will become boring because i know for sure that it is going to cross 900 very easily it can go 940 950 mbps very easily which is happening over here So there you go the speeds are really good now let's do a crazy test which i'm sure you have never seen these are some of the devices that we have like 10 20 25 we are going to play a youtube video on all these devices at the same time at 10 p okay let's take it up a notch we'll play 4k videos on 10 devices at a single time and let's see what happens but before that what if we try it on our pc let's do that so there you go, four 4K videos playing at the same time. Obviously, I was not expecting it to have any type of issues, but uh, let me, I'm just showing you that four 4K videos on the same PC are being played at the same time. Now it's time to test all these devices at the same time. Let me just set it up and I'll get back. All the 25 devices are ready to go and first of all let's play 4k video on these top 10 devices and let's see how the router performs. I'll just select each one manually. So all these 10 devices here are playing a 4k video. No lags, no nothing whatsoever. I set them up at 2160p that is 4k resolution manually. Now let's add 5 more devices and let's see what happens. I said 5 but I ended up doing 10 more devices so 20 of these smartphones are playing a 4k video at the same time without any issues 20 devices let me just add last 5 devices and I am 100% sure that it will not have any issue so let me just play the video. There you go, 25 devices playing back 4K video at the same time without any issue. Now, why is this important? Because you may not have a family of 25 people who are going to play 4K video at the same time. But this is important because it shows that it can, the router basically can handle a lot of devices at the same time. I have 25 devices here, one PC, three more laptops and three more phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And I'm 100% sure that it is not going to have any issue. We had earlier tried with 30 devices 
and no issues whatsoever. These are 4K videos being played back. If you play 1080p videos, you can easily, but you may not have access to like 60 devices, I guess, because the router supports up to 60 devices at the same time and uh, 25 devices playing 4K videos at the same time and still not dropping any frames and everything playing back so smoothly is definitely a great fit. Now comes the interesting part where I'll show you download speed and we'll actually download some games, upload some files. So let's go there. As I start speaking to you guys, I have started update on my player unknowns battleground PC game. The peak was at 37.3 Mbps and it was just like 100, 200 MBs. So it got done pretty quickly. Let's just go to Epic Game Store. Uh, I'll start installing something on the laptop. I'm going to select select install. I'm going to download task manager and you can see the internet speed here as well. Ethernet speed. It is going at 500 Mbps speed at the same time, which is uh, which is very fast. I guess my SSD on the laptop is uh, sort of a bottleneck now. Uh, 66, 70, se almost 70 Mbps, which is around 550, 625 Mbps speed. Now, if you are wondering why the game is being downloaded at 500 Mbps speed only or 600, 700 Mbps speed only and not 1 Gbps, that's because a lot of these servers like Epic Games server may be limited to let's say 600, 700 Mbps. So if you try to download the same game on two PCs at the same time, then let's see and then we'll obviously combine the speeds and we'll see what is the maximum speed. So I'll start downloading something on the laptop now. So the, the speed is 48.9 Mbps. Let me just download Rocket League on this PC and the Rocket League game is being installed on and on this. Okay, so over here we are getting 340 Mbps speed and over here we are getting 670 now 700 Mbps of speed. So this shows that if you combine both these speeds at the same time, then it is going to be close to 1000 Mbps, which is one Gbps. And this is crazy fast. On this PC, it is not bottlenecking anywhere. It is more than 70 Mbps constantly, which is 639 Mb was the maximum that I was able to see here. Now it is time to install my favorite game from Steam and that's going to be CSGO. I have around 1400 plus hours on this game so you can understand how much I play this game. And this is a game of around 25 GB. And let's see what are the speeds that we are getting with Steam. Uh, 930, 960, 856, 920 Mbps of speed. 940. <laughs> I did buy the Rocket League on Steam earlier but it was free later on in Epic Games. So let's install uh, Rocket League on Steam. And the maximum speed, let's see the speeds that we are going to get 360, 476, 526, 501 Mbps of speed. So on the laptop, we were able to max out the peak speed was 96.4 MB per second. This is MB, the capital B, which means that uh, you have to multiply that speed by 8 and it comes out to be around 700 to 800 Mbps, which is crazy fast when it comes to downloads. Right now on the PC, the game is being downloaded at 350, 400, 500 Mbps and the peak that we had on our PC was 59.5 MB per second. So when it comes to downloads, server of that particular service is going to be the limitation meaning epic game server or steam server or google drive server is the limitation your internet connection of 1 gbps is never going to be a bottleneck so i'm at my friend's house and this is the router that they have and they have a 40 mbps plan when it comes to airtel extreme fiber i forgot to tell you guys one thing that uh, when the society in society uh, committee and all that stuff when they came to know that uh, Airtel Extreme Fiber is going to be installed. They posted in the group. I was expecting about 5 to 10 people to shift from local ISP to Airtel Extreme Fiber. But to my surprise, 40 people out of 96 flats ended up switching to Airtel Extreme Fiber. I was like, what? And that that's the 40 number, which was like two, three months before uh, everything was there. And I'm sure at, at least 10 to 15 people more have been added in the list. The issue with local ISP is that they do not answer calls regularly. The professionalism is not there, which I definitely saw when it comes to Airtel Extreme Fiber. Now this is the router 40 Mbps plan and we have 5 videos running at 1080p resolution right now and all of them are at 1080p. We did not bring few more devices to test otherwise I'm sure it can handle 5 to 10 devices at 1080p resolution very easily and for a 40 Mbps plan and for a family of let's say 4 or 5 people 40 Mbps connection is going to be more than enough as well. It is not going to bottleneck for sure even if everyone starts to play 1080p videos at the same time. Uh, I did not find any family who, who does that. 
there is one more thing about which I want to talk. So for that, I'll have to show the speed test. We saw 1 Gbps, 900, 950 plus Mbps connection uh, speed on the speed test application. Now, when it comes to 40 Mbps connection, let me just start the speed test. We are connected to this particular Wi-Fi, Durwa underscore 5G. And the download speeds that we are getting are 45, 48, 45 once again. So the download speeds are basically more than 40, literally 99% of the times. It is never below 40. It's always more than 40 Mbps. And when it comes to upload speeds now, it, it went to 50 plus speed. <laughs> this is uh, 48, 48, 40. Okay, 48 is going to be the speed basically, I guess. So the speeds that we got was 47 and 48.6 Mbps download and upload. The plan is of 40 Mbps. I do not want to name someone, but there are few ISPs who also provide fiber connection. And when you get a 40 Mbps connection, you will regularly get only 40 Mbps connection or less than that. But with Airtel Extreme Fiber, this was a very good thing. And this is not just this Wi-Fi connection that is getting more than 40 Mbps. My other friend who also has a 40 Mbps connection, constantly gets 45 50 mbps of speed the uh, someone who has a 200 mbps connection constantly gets 250 to 260 mbps of connection i'm not saying that expect more speed as compared to what you take plan of but this is to show you even if airtel says that up to 40 mbps speed it is more than 40 mbps in a lot of scenarios and i guess that's much it for this particular video i am sure you know my experience and what my review is going to be. I am very happy with the connection that I have. Even the 40 Mbps connection is more than enough because there is one child who does school from home and her father does work from home. So that's pretty much it. And they have a smart TV. That's that's it. So it's more than enough for them. When it comes to 1 Gbps connection that I have, we have multiple PCs downloading, uploading multiple stuff at the same time at times. So therefore 1 Gbps connection becomes handy over there. Obviously 1 Gbps is great speed and there is no bottleneck whatsoever. But what's even better is the consistency, no packet loss, no downtime. Uh, that's even more important for me because our entire business is online and everything. We need to be online 24 by 7. That's it. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you still have any more doubts, suggestions or queries regarding this video, let me know about that in the comment section box below. I'll definitely get back to you for sure. And thank you guys. Thank you for watching.